What's up, guys? This is Sound of My Phone, and uh, this is Taryn, and we're here with... Uh, there's been a lot of requests for it, and we're going to finally do it. We're going to finally get our SimCraft guide up and off, off the ground. Uh, and I'm just here to give you... Uh, I'm going to split this up in a couple of videos. I know I've got two in the works right now. I've got this one, which is like your basic crash course. Here's how to install and set up, and what the hell is SimCraft? What does it do? Um, and then... Uh, my second guide that I'm going to be putting out hopefully later tonight, tomorrow, is we're going to talk about kind of the, um, some more advanced things. What you're, what, what are you doing with SimCraft and what's, what the fuck's the point of that? So, we're going to start, like, completely bare bones. This is SimCraft right now, but we're going to close that and we're going to show you where to go to install SimCraft. So, you're going to go to simulationcraft.org and you're going to go to downloads. So, there are two things to look for. Number one is this uh, release build right here. This is, uh, you wanna check the date. Um, this is a very stable, what we have right here, this is a very stable build of the 7.2.0. This will not include any PTR information. If you're looking at trying to simulate stuff for 7.2.5 as of May 25th, when this is getting recorded, this is not what you wanna be doing. Um, your other option is you're gonna go to this thing right here which says nightly builds and there's a lot of shit here, right? Go ahead and you wanna just grab one of these .exes right here. That one, or you grab that one. I think they build these dot, uh, these installers about every week, give or take. Um, and those are typically very stable. They go through some good, they've got some good testing and stuff that goes on. Hello, kitty cat. Um, so these are pretty stable. These nightly builds are basically the entire zip of all your executable stuff. I wouldn't touch this seven zip files. Go ahead and get one of these uh, SimCraft setup uh, 720-3 uh, win64.exe. You know, it'll be something dot uh, SimCraft setup, some bullshit here, win64.exe. If you're running this on Mac and Linux, sorry. Uh, if you're running this on Linux, I mean, you probably don't need this guide to be honest. So you're gonna come here, you're gonna run this. Ignore that. Uh, yes, I would like to uninstall the older version and go ahead and install this. All right, great. And that will install and we'll get that up. One of the other things you're gonna do while you're talking about this, while we're talking about this, is you're gonna wanna get this. This is the add-on I highly recommend. It is called SimCraft. You're gonna grab this add-on. I've got my little Twitch app right here and you're just gonna install this add-on and we'll show you what to do with that in a minute. So, this is SimCraft what the fuck is going on here, right? This is a pretty complicated application, and you come in here and there's a bunch of shit and you have no idea what's going on. This tab is blank, it's supposed to tell you why your damage sucks. Okay, let's walk through this. So, you got some tabs up here. Um, these are kind of be, these tabs right here are your important ones. Import, options, simulate, and results. These are the important things, this log, you don't need this. If you're watching this video right now, you don't care about the log. Your help is not really helpful. Your override, don't touch it. Don't, just don't. And your spell query, don't touch that. What you want to look at is your import. So you have an option to import your character. So we can go turn lock right here. And we're going to click import. And boom! We got a bunch of shit here. Where are we? Okay. Right. You can see I got a bunch of tabs here. So this is your foremost tab. So this is a pull down of my character live right now. Cool. So that's one way you can grab your stuff. Um, we'll talk about some other stuff. This is a way that you can navigate and then import your um, character from Blizzard's website. Less than ideal. This is a sample profile. So if you come here, I'm a warlock. This is kind of not really gauged just for warlocks. I do a lot of stuff about affliction warlocks, not actually warlocks, but affliction warlocks because I'm fucking terrible and hate demonology. Um, but this is a bunch of profiles. So the the Grandmaster Gato has set up a bunch of these profiles, and these kind of let us know what the fuck's good and not good. Um, these are kind of nifty. Okay, we got some history, recent close. None of this is good. Automation, don't touch this. Just don't don't bother. Okay, cool. Options. What are our options here? So when we go over here, these are uh, some of these look familiar. Some of these are like, what the fuck is a thread, right? If you if you don't know computers, you're like thread. Is there like yarn in my computer? It's fine. Uh, armory region. This just kind of changes where you're selecting from your armory. It'll pull down different stuff. 
things will be worded differently in Europe. They put a U in color for some fucking reason. I don't know why. Um, armory spec. I don't know what that does. Version. This is important. If you want to do live versus PTR, if you want to see what that fancy Death's Embrace talent does, you want to click that PTR button. Um, otherwise, you want to do that. We'll go over that more later. Iterations. What this means is how many times you're going to run each profile. Okay. Um, typically, if you're running anything and you're trying to get anything reliable, you want this number to be at least uh, 15,000. 15, Ignore that. Um, yeah, you want this at about 15,000 iterations that says run this 15,000 times. It lets us do get a bunch of, get you a good average as to what's going on with your profile. Fight length, uh, do six minute, 300 seconds. Just kind of leave it at that. Uh, there's some stuff you might want to start figuring out once you're on farm to figure out, hey, how long is this stuff going to take, that and the other. Cool. Fight style. There's a bunch of styles. I would definitely just kind of stick with patchwork for right now. It'll help you kind of get your ground, your feet on the ground. Some of these are a little better for later on. Uh, hectic ad fight and beast lord are really good for some fights. Um, don't touch this. Don't touch this. Don't touch this. Don't touch this. Don't touch this at all. Uh, number of enemies. You can mess with this. This kind of gets you an idea as to what you're going to do in council fights. Apparently we have a council fight coming up in team, Tomb, which is kind of exciting. Um, target level. You want to do a raid boss. Don't touch it. Um, don't touch that. Don't touch that. Don't touch that. Uh, TMI window. This is an interesting thing. What this says is how many seconds before each action does SimCraft want to recalculate everything because procs happen and things like that and you want to make sure things are adjusted. Just don't touch it. All right, uh, don't touch that. Threads, so we're going to advanced options. What these are, are uh, you've got your world lag. Um, I would probably leave that to whatever your latency is. It gives you a better idea. Um, process, priority, and threads. So what this is, is, okay, um, Look at your computer and figure out what processor you have. If you have an Intel i5, this number needs to be no bigger than four because it can't run more than four threads. If you have an i7, you can run eight, 10. I can run 12 because I'm a fucking nerd and I spend a lot of money on my computer. So um, what this does is it allows your computer to spin off a bunch of um, processes to run this faster sometimes two, three, four, five, you know, eight times faster. So if you have one thread, one thread will run, you know, will take like 20 minutes to run a profile. Uh, two threads will take 10 minutes, three thre th uh, four threads will take five minutes and kind of chunks down like that. Cool. Um, that's my phone again. And everything else just probably don't touch it, especially this. Do not try and generate gory details because uh, some craft, you, you're going to be have the thing vomited in your face and you're not going to like that. Simulate. This is the profile that we imported. Okay. Once we'll, we'll cover this more in detail, but what this is, is you've got a series of actions that are going on here, right? These are tells SimCraft how things happen. Don't touch the action priority list unless you have a damn good idea what you're doing. Just don't, don't touch these. Um, for affliction, for warlocks in general, the priority action priority list is like clean. Don't touch it. Whatever you do, it's gonna be bad. Um, this is your artifact string. I'll go over how to import all this stuff um, in my next video. This is, again, just a very basic crash course into what the hell this is. Um, this is your gear, and this is anything behind these number signs right here, these are a comment, and they're not actually ran in SimCraft. And you can actually see your very bottom line is kind of your default pet. For whatever reason, they put that at the bottom of this, and it's kind of retarded. But anyways, so then we have our results page. This isn't populated until we're done, until we run this. So I'm gonna actually drop this down so this runs in a timely manner. And we're gonna hit simulate, right? This is all you do. You import your profile, you hit simulate, and in your results tab, you will be greeted by shit. Cool, so this is done on live, and this kind of gives you a basic idea as to um, kind of what things are doing and all this stuff. Um, and this, we will take this and we'll build on it to figure out what the hell we're actually doing with this SimCraft. So, 
Thanks for watching. Next video coming out uh, hopefully shortly with this one.